Roblox is finally adding this feature after years of people waiting. This developer is angry at Roblox for more crazy news today. So if you're new here, please subscribe. Help us reach 400,000 subs and let's get into it. And with that being said, let's start with the developer being angry at Roblox being Hasm, the person behind Plays Donate. So this person here today was saying that this is how you know roles run at a high quality moderation employees. Roblox, quit using AI to track the items. Roles AI mods wrongfully banned when your top YouTube creators has them. Yeah, you have like three item roles items already on the catalog and label those different. And if you're confused what they mean by this, he linked a screenshot from Hasm in his Discord server saying this. Banned for uploading you see using the rules icon, meanwhile items like this exist. Please want to go over the temporary down until it's resolved. So yeah, Hazen's main account got banned over this, probably for like 3 days or maybe just a 1 day ban, but as we can see here, it's pretty angry because there's a bunch of items out there that use the Roblox logo, but out of everyone, he gets in trouble. And yeah, like he mentioned, this does kind of ruin the game a little bit because all the donations and stuff are under his name, so when his account gets banned, those also break as well. Now with that being said, a lot of people responded to this tweet kind of saying that Hazem deserves a ban because some people are saying that it's been against the Roblox rules to use like the Roblox logo for the longest time now. But also with that being said, I guess it's more so just how inconsistent it is. Like the fact that a bunch of items can get away with it, but you know, a one item gets like a big ban for it, it seems kind of crazy. But with that being said, the situation gets way worse. Because here's the thing, I think once Hasm got the account back, he tried re-uploading like the headphones and the items that he was going to upload originally. And once again, he got banned once again, which is actually crazy. As we can see here, the new catch ones have been deleted again. Hasm tried uploading it again and the items are gone. Following this, the global donations went down again, meaning that Hasm's account probably got another ban, which is actually insane. He uploaded an item, got banned, and then got angry, uploaded the item again, and then got banned. And it's pretty bad what's going on right now. I don't know if he changed up the item or whatever, but getting banned like this frequently for being that big of a creator is actually insane. And the worst part is, is like, this is not the first time this happened to Hazem. Like he's been getting banned constantly for the dumbest reasons. To be fair, you can argue this one was deserved if it is actually against the Roblox rules, but I mean, like he mentioned, there's actually thousands of items out there that use the Roblox logo, but he gets banned. It is pretty crazy and pretty unfortunate. And with that being said, our next story of I Need Your Help, recently uploaded a new video on the Chizzo 2 channel where I spent 100 hours AFK and please donate. If you're interested, I'll put the link in the pinned comment. And subscribe to that channel, I upload like 2 shorts a day, and also like a pretty insane video like once a month, so subscribe to that channel and please watch that video, it took me so long to make. And with that being said, our next story, speaking of UGC, recently Roblox finally released this UGC, you know, update and it's pretty bad. Lucas here tweeted out saying that, I'm a little late, but the update where you need premium 1000 to keep UGC on sale is finally out. So if you notice any of your favorite UGC creators items suddenly going off sale, this update could be the reason why. So yeah, if you're a bit confused what this update is, if you guys remember like a while ago, Roblox announced that if you want to upload UGC items, you have to upgrade your premium to the second or third tier before you could have the first tier, but they actually made it more expensive now. And they also said that if you don't upgrade your tier, they take all your items off sale until you get the higher tier premium, which is pretty awful because a lot of people can't really afford it. And also with that being said, because of the state of the UGC program, a lot of people can't even make a profit anymore because their items aren't selling with all the garbage on the platform. So with that being said, as he mentioned in that tweet, you might see a lot of items start going off sale. You know, your favorite creators might start, items start going off sale, which is pretty unfortunate. But also with that being said, public UGC we know is around the corner now, and hopefully this also prevents it, but it is pretty unfortunate for everyone who's already in the program. And yeah, like I mentioned, if you see any items starting going off sale and stuff like that, this is the reason why probably. It's pretty awful update. If you read the comments, all people are saying that their items went off sale and stuff. And with that being said, our next story of two interesting new Roblox collabs and events. So firstly, with that being said, it seems like Rolls is doing another Stranger Things event soon, which is actually crazy. I think they've done like three so far, and it seems they're getting another one soon. As we can see in this tweet, there's a bunch of leaked items and stuff like that for this event, and it definitely is probably coming sometime soon. And there's a bunch of leaks this time, so it seems like once again we're gonna get another sort of Netflix, Stranger Things type event, which is pretty interesting. I know a lot of people did actually like the Stranger Things event, so a lot of people are excited for this, but this is like the third time, like I mentioned, it's happening. Do we really need a third event? But with that being said, next we have another interesting collab, and apparently Rose is collabing with Shrek this time. Mark on here is saying that if you guys don't already know, there's an upgrade Shrek event and we got some new leaks for this event. They clearly tell us who's working on the game. So as we can see here, a popular development studio got leaked. I think these people developed some events in the past. And then also DreamWorks, which confirms it's like Shrek because they're the people behind Shrek, which is pretty crazy. But with that being said, I don't know if there's going to be an official collab like with Roblox or just an event in general, like how brands join Roblox. Because if I remember correctly, someone told me that it's just going to be like a free UGC limited thing. So it's not like an official event, but you guys have to wait and see. But also with that being said, if you guys remember, last time I mentioned how Despicable Me and Minions are also joining Roblox. And with like these new collabs, a lot of people are saying that it seems like 
classic Roblox events are kind of back where like a movie and stuff like that just joins Roblox to make like a fun event. You know, we got Shrek now, we got the minions, it's pretty crazy. And also with that being said, apparently the minions game might actually be more than just like your average event and how it is nowadays. It might be like a classic style where you actually have to do stuff and it's kind of like a hunt. Because apparently from what I've heard, like particle effects got leaked for one of the items and you see items can't have particle effects. So it seems like it has to be like an official Roblox item and stuff, like an official collab so they can make that item, which is very interesting and very crazy. And with that being said, I've seen a lot of people saying that it seems like classic Rolls events might be coming back, which is pretty interesting. And with that being said, here next story, Rolls making a mistake, and this one's just kind of funny. So recently on the Roblox Japanese TikTok account, which I didn't even know was a thing, but it is, they posted a video, which seems like fine, but what they actually ended up using an audio that just contained a bunch of swearing. Like it literally swore like four times in 20 seconds, which is pretty funny. It literally just keeps swearing over and over again. Like the Brazilian artist here, here tweeted us saying that news Rolls recently posted a seemingly normal video on its official Japanese TikTok profile. However, the song is a Brazilian funk with inappropriate lyrics, which clearly shouldn't be there. See, that's just pretty funny. And you read the comments, a lot of people are freaking out, being like, oh, this is the wrong audio, replace the audio. And in general, it's kind of a funny mistake. Because imagine like a little kid going onto the Roblox account and just hearing a bunch of swearing. It's probably the most unexpected thing for them. And in general, it seems like the person behind this account and the admin behind it either didn't know or wasn't aware or maybe they used like the wrong audio somehow. But in general, it's kind of a funny mistake. Because like I mentioned, obviously a majority of people who are on TikTok and stuff like that and follow their roles accounts are little kids. So if they log on to see this and understand like the lyrics, they're just going to hear a bunch of swearing from the official roles account which is kind of funny and as i mentioned a lot of the comments are freaking out too just being like oh wrong audio and like you're swearing and stuff like that so in general it's kind of a funny mistake and with that being said the situation happened like a few days ago and the tiktok's still up so it seems like it's gonna keep it up which honestly fair enough but it was pretty funny to see and all the reactions of a lot of people just freaking out being like oh that's the wrong audio pretty funny mistake on robots to end and it's nothing too serious just kind of funny but with that being said the next story of roles finally adding a feature after years i think like after five years of people begging roles are finally adding it which is actually insane. What is the feature? Well, we have to rewind all the way back to 2022. We're quick after to us saying that Roblox, the Striker is a streamer mode. We've been asking for three years. Every other game has it. It's time. And in the reply to the suite, literally every single creator and YouTuber is also saying, like, please add this to Roblox. As we can see here, Flamingo even said, please, I'll never do anything bad if you add this to Roblox. And in general, for the past few years or even like longer, people have been begging Roblox forever to add a streamer mode where you can like stay anonymous and stuff like that. Because for YouTubers and people, it's just very annoying. Because no matter what you do, you're going to get targeted. And also just in general, I feel like normal players might not mind this feature too if they make it public just because like people like to just be, you know, not disturbed and stuff like that. And if you're wondering why I'm talking about this now, two years later, I have nowhere yesterday, Blast News Cobra tweeted just saying like the smirk emoji soon in the eyes emoji meaning that finally after all these years roblox finally listened to the community and they're going to be finally adding this which is actually insane because forever people have been complaining about this like i've heard this complaint probably a million times and it seems like finally they listened and they're going to be adding it which is actually insane i feel very excited for this obviously they waited so long for it with that being said though i really hope that they also make it public potentially because as i mentioned even if you're not like a youtuber some people just like being like anonymous and hidden and like appearing off and stuff like that and in general with that being said this year has been very good for roblox in terms of like the community aspect obviously we've had a lot of bad updates have been very back and forth but this year we've definitely seen roblox interact and listen to the community more than we ever seen you know if you begged roles to bring back events they brought back events this year People begged Rolls to bring this feature back and they finally listened. And it seems like this year, Rolls is going to go full out with a bunch of features and updates that we've been begging for for years. And this shows it once again, which is actually very good. We don't have much information beyond that, but it seems like it's coming soon. Finally, after all these years, which is actually crazy. And with that being said, if you enjoyed, check this video to find out why Rolls is banning everyone right now. for something pretty crazy and I'll see you in the next one.